Hey guys, I'm going to review the latest video by Earthling Ed called My Vegan Beef with Russell Brand. So Russell Brand recently released a video where he was criticizing plant-based meat substitutes. And so I thought it would be a good opportunity to respond to what he says, but more importantly, discuss the wider debate around plant-based meat substitutes and how they're being weaponized by the meat industry to try and discredit being vegan. But before I do that, I have a really big announcement, which I am so excited to be able to tell you about, which is I've just launched my own ethical vegan clothing brand, and it's called Idea Studios, with the idea being an acronym for I Don't Eat Animals. Now, I've been working on lovely. this brand for quite it's a lovely some idea. Yeah, it is. So it's really, really wonderful to be able to finally tell you about it. <laughs> it said forever vegan. <laughs> Why did around 95% of the vegans that I use in my videos over the years quit veganism already? Yes, you can have the moral standpoint or whatever man-made belief in your head, but uh, because veganism is malnutrition, it cannot last. So nobody's gonna be vegan forever. <laughs> Such nonsense. Oh, <laughs> what a girl. <laughs> it's just... Oh my god. <laughs> He's not a bad businessman. I gotta give it to him. What's with the hair all the time? Oh my god. <laughs> this was really, really hilarious. Thank you, man. <laughs> One so of the funniest things I've seen in a while. It, and I hope that you like the cloves. And if you are interested in <laughs> being vegan or at least flexitarian and having a partly plant-based diet, it's one of the healthiest things you can do, isn't it? Or all those new meats that are synthetic, disgusting, evil processed things that are going to kill you. And so straight off the bat, we see the overarching problem in this discussion, which is that because plant-based diets have been touted as healthy, that means that all plant-based foods have to be held to the standard of being objectively healthy. However, that's not the case. And it also removes all nuance from the conversation because of course a whole foods plant-based diet is incredibly healthy, but at the same time, there can also be unhealthy plant-based foods as well, which is why when we advocate for a healthy plant-based diet, we advocate for a whole foods plant-based diet. It doesn't matter if it's whole foods or processed vegan foods because plants in general don't have over 15 micronutrients. You can't in general call any plant food healthy if it's malnutrition by definition. And look, I don't want to misrepresent the arguments that Russell is making in his video, because really the purpose of this video is to highlight the wider discussion around plant-based alternatives and to highlight how they have been hypocritically weaponized to try and present an argument which just doesn't make any sense. That argument being that because some plant-based alternatives aren't healthy, that means that we shouldn't be plant-based. I don't want to linger on this point for- Yeah, that would be a stupid argument. Too long, but whilst there hasn't been a huge extensive if there were any healthy plant-based foods. ...amount of research comparing processed plant-based alternatives to their meat counterparts, the research that has been done so far shows that if anything, actually these processed meat alternatives are healthier than their meat counterparts. Inc oh, wow. Including even for gut microbiome health. Oh, of course, canola oil, rice protein, yeast, whatever they use in these meats. <laughs> Super healthy for the gut. A study that compared Microbiome. Beyond Burgers <laughs> with red meat burgers found that consuming Beyond Burgers was actually shown to reduce cardiovascular risk factors. Of course, uh, it makes perfect sense. In other words, consuming Beyond Burgers over red meat burgers was better for your health. And these weren't just any... I'm mind blown. Red meat burgers. These weren't ultra processed bad red meat burgers. These were red meat burgers from a high end, high quality butcher shop. So in other words, even the best of the best when it comes to red meat was seen to be worse for you than consuming processed plant-based alternatives. And of course, on top of that, it's worth bearing in mind that processed plant-based alternatives haven't been listed 
as class two carcinogens like oh retinol, my god or indeed class one oh wow i can't believe this like video man <laughs> so there's that as well plus that notion of something being processed equaling this is one of the funniest bad, videos i've ever seen necessarily <laughs> always hold up is being true take watermelons bananas peaches and aubergines or eggplants if you're in the US. These foods, as well as many others like them, are very different to the way that they naturally used to be. And the reason they're so different is because we've selectively bred them. And the reason we selectively bred them and changed their genetic characteristics is because they are inedible in its natural form. For the most part, where a lot of them are very hard to eat because it's mostly skin and seeds. And of course, they bred them to have more flesh. But because of this, they lost all of their micronutrients. The concentrated vitamin C that you would find in wild fruit, for example, which is how it should be, is not found in any of the cultivated fruit. Is because doing so actually made them more edible for us as humans. And so making them more edible actually made- A lot of them are basically inedible, which means that of course you shouldn't eat them in the first place. Them healthier and more nutritious for us. There's no way he could possibly explain to you how they supposedly became healthier, just zero logic, more nutritious, absolutely false. Uh, what is he basing this on? He's not gonna say anything, he's just lying. In effect, the processing of these foods actually made them healthier. Now, obviously processed foods can be in- Why do you say healthier twice and not give any arguments, any reasoning? Incredibly unhealthy for us. Some more, some less, some quite a lot actually. But if a food is not in its natural state, then by definition, it is of course not uh, perfectly healthy. Argue against that simple and objective fact. But the point of what I'm trying to say now is that it's easy to fall into the trap of believing simplistic and reductive ideas. For example, that processed means bad and unprocessed means good. But from a health perspective, it seems more important that things are not processed. Because as a consequence of that logic, we could fall into the trap of saying, well, this processed plant-based food must be bad because it's processed, whereas this unprocessed red meat must be good because it's unprocessed. Well, yeah, red meat in general, in its natural raw state, is incredibly healthy for you. You could process it in a way that it is not as healthy. You could go really far and make it quite unhealthy, depending on what you add to it. Of course, you can just do anything. Processing is like an umbrella term. But of course, every processed plant-based food is unhealthy. It has to be. So ultimately, the question shouldn't be which food is more or less processed, but which food is healthier for us based on its nutritional content and the outcomes that it causes in the body. But to be honest, this is all kind of besides the point because- the Again, he doesn't even get into the point because of course, plants don't have over 50 micronutrients and is malnutrition, whereas meat has all of the nutrients and is healthy for you. <laughs> Why? He, he doesn't understand anything at all about nutrition, man. At least then stick to your religious morals if you talk about veganism. The purpose of this video is not to try and claim that there are not unhealthy plant-based alternatives. Of course, there are unhealthy plant-based alternatives. So I'm not trying to say that they should be held up as a symbol of health and wealth. If you can survive by eating a food, then it is, by definition, unhealthy. Because health, I think that you would agree with this, means that you should be alive. If you die, by eating only plant-based foods which don't have over 15 nutrients, then of course it is not healthy because you would be dead. <laughs> wellness. But instead what I'm trying to say is they're being held to an unfair and unnecessary standard. And by holding them to this unnecessary standard, we're actually overlooking what veganism is actually about. Firstly, these foods are replicating foods that are already unhealthy for us. Take vegan bacon as an example. Vegan bacon is replicating pig flesh bacon from a pig, which is literally one of the most unhealthy foods that we can consume. Okay, are you gonna give any argument? No, of course not. These people can never give you any reasoning for what they say. They want you to religiously believe that what they're saying is true. And seeing as sheep follow people like Earthling Ed, people who can't think for themselves whatsoever will just eat it up. They won't question it. Why is pig flesh unhealthy? Yes, the pigs of today, which are fed absolute garbage and medicated to death, are unhealthy. A pig naturally, or a wild boar for example, is of course not unhealthy in any way at all. It's just animal flesh, which you are also made out of. What is in any way unhealthy about animal flesh as such? Just name one thing, I dare you. 
So yes, vegan bacon is healthier than bacon from a pig, but no, it's not objectively healthy. But then why does it need to be? Why does it Everything that you're talking about in all of your videos is subjective anyway. You're just talking about your opinions. Again, this is just a guy with a God complex. You have to be held to such an unfair and unnecessary standard. After all, if we're choosing to eat vegan bacon, we're not choosing to eat vegan bacon because we think it's the healthiest food that we can consume. The problem is the media and also vegan advocacy well, people eat it because they want to eat bacon, of course. What other reason is there for you to eat vegan bacon? <laughs> Literally, name one other reason why you would eat fake meat. There's only one reason, because you want to eat meat. And that's because it's our natural diet and vegans starve themselves. How do you not understand this? Groups as well have often touted veganism as something that you do for your health. I think the, the mentality behind that is that talking about health is an easier entry point into plant-based diets than talking about almost everybody who goes vegan does it for their own health because they were brainwashed to believe that plants are healthy already as children by the media and school of course also you see when veganism is framed correctly as a movement that is trying to reduce the exploitation harm and death of animals it becomes obvious that it doesn't matter if these plant-based alternatives aren't as healthy as say a kale smoothie or a chickpea salad because the point of these all a kale smoothie what are you talking about man that's one of the most toxic things you could possibly consume this guy is just not living in reality alternatives is to not replicate the healthfulness of whole plant foods is to replicate the taste and texture of their meat counterparts and the reason for replicating the taste and texture of their meat counterparts is so that people no longer perceive meat dairy and eggs as being something that they need in their life by creating plant-based alternatives that tick all of the boxes how does it make sense <laughs> of what people want from meat dairy and eggs it means that in the future the meat dairy and egg industries will no longer exist wait 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 is this guy saying that people eat animal foods, or at least even the vegans, because they want the taste of the animal foods. You do understand that when you eat food, you taste the nutrients, right? You do know that taste is not just this empty thing that is in the food somehow. Does this guy not get it? <laughs> people eat animal foods because we naturally taste the nutrients in the food that we need, and plants don't have over 15, which is why it's malnutrition. That's why humans need to eat animal foods. We taste the nutrients, we know that it's good for us, which is why we like the taste of meat, bacon and so on. People like to eat bacon because it's incredibly healthy for them. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that these plant-based alternatives shouldn't be healthier than their meat counterparts. Of course, these companies should make their alternatives healthier than what they're replicating. And it certainly seems from the studies that have been done so far that that is the case. But do I eat a Beyond Sausage because I think it's the healthiest food that I can consume? Well, no, of course I don't. The reason I consume a Beyond Meat Sausage is because I like... Oh, he's so incredibly feminine. He's just so anti-masculine. It's... Ugh. It's disgusting. How Beyond Meat Sausage tastes. If I wanted to consume the healthiest foods I could consume, I would consume a whole plant food instead. So the reason for consuming the Beyond Meat Sausage isn't because I believe it to be a staple of a healthy diet. It's because by consuming the Beyond Meat Sausage, I'm voting for a world where pigs aren't gassed in gas chambers or have their throats cut in slaughterhouses to create a product that we have an ethical plant-based alternative for. How are you voting for it by eating it? I just find it so hypocritical and obviously contradictory that the meat industry is trying to weaponize the fact that these plant-based alternatives aren't objectively healthy as a reason to therefore not be vegan. Because the logic is basically saying, oh, hey, you do realize that vegan bacon isn't objectively Whether you're vegan or not, the ingredients in fake meat are insanely unhealthy to the point where they can cause serious health issues. Everything you can imagine, really. It's really just the worst ingredients you could possibly imagine in any food. And this is why brands like VFC are so important, because VFC makes their branding all about the animals. They say that they're an ethical vegan company, and by centering the animals as being front and center in their branding... Why do they use the fake blood? <laughs> it's just a typical 
vegan obsession with blood and guts and everything. They're signaling that the reason they exist is to produce a food that in the future will be a part of the reason why chicken farming no longer exists. Man, can he not find any clothes that fit him or does he wear those kind of clothes to make him look bigger? Because every time I review a video of him, his clothes are just completely hanging. I mean, they're huge. XXL when he should be wearing excess. Ultimately, if we only want to eat healthy foods, that's a totally understandable and amazing thing to do. And of course, we should all make sure that we center our diets around fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds, and make those the foundations of our diets. Give some kind of reasoning. Just say what is healthy about these foods, anything at all. Can you just once do that? But it's also okay to eat unhealthy foods from time to time. So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in purchasing some Idea Studios clothes, then you can do so at our website, which is weareideastudios.com. Actually, with that being said, you can also check out my anti-vegan clothes <laughs> in the description. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. He's so incredibly fake and disgusting, just such a liar, Ugh, just using all of his subscribers. And he knows they're gullible, and he's using them to the max, just completely milking them, ironically. <laughs> I think that he actually put Russell Brand in the title of the video just to promote his new clothing line, to get more views and more money, essentially. As I said already, he has no idea what he's talking about. He almost always only talks about morals in his videos, which are man-made and come from religions. You can have these kind of morals, these, 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 these. There's just so many of them. Completely man-made. It's your opinion, completely subjective. You can have vegan morals, Christian, Muslim, whatever. There's hundreds of them. It's completely irrelevant because it has nothing to do with the natural human state, which is completely without morals. Morals are something that are programmed in you, and usually this is done by the media today. As long as he keeps saying this is healthy without giving any kind of reasoning, none whatsoever, in this video or any of his videos, then of course nobody should be listening to him about health. Come on. <laughs> Thanks for watching.